Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to create hyperlink for different seeds in a workbook. So without delay, let's begin. I have this workbook. In this, we have multiple seeds. As you can see here, I have multiple sales data for January, February, March, April, May, June, July. So seven month seat I have and this is the table of content. Here I'll be creating a list of seats like we have Jan, Feb, March. So all the seats we will be listing here and accordingly we will be creating a hyperlink for that. So directly by clicking that hyperlink we can navigate that seat. Let's start. So for creating a list we will be creating a function for that first we need to navigate through formula ribbon. So I'll click on formula, then manage name. Here I will create a new function. Click on new. Here I will write function name, list, seats. And here I'm providing a formula. So this formula I will provide you into the description. So you can just copy and you can use that. And just click OK. So I have created one list seed formula. Close. Now we have currently one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and this contains it. Total eight seeds we have. So I'll create a serial number here. So I'll click here and I'll drag or I have done 30. Now here I will write a formula of index index asking for array array so i will provide here the function that i have created the function name was list seats comma raw number it is asking for raw number so raw number i will provide this row okay and then close the bracket hit enter so you will be getting the name of the seat here i'll simply click here on the plus sign and i will drag it so here you are getting the reference error because we don't have more than 8 seats right now. So how to resolve this? Here I will put if error function. So that if there is any error then it will print blank. Now so in future if you add any other seat so that will be flashed here. Now here we will be creating hyperlink for that so that we can just click on that hyperlink and we can navigate to the particular seat. So first we will start with error function is equal to if error now in value we will start with hyperlink hyperlink link location here we will write double quote has sign single inverted comma and then double inverted comma will concatenate with and sign then we'll start again index function then it is asking for array so we'll be providing list seat comma raw number raw number will provide this so once we will drag down so it will be changing to raw number one two three four five it will change accordingly bracket and then again we will put hand sign and in double quotation will provide double quote and then single quote and then exclamation sign and where we want to target in the navigation seat so I'll be targeting A1. So once we will click on that link, so it will be navigating to that seed and the active cell will be A1. Then double inverted comma, comma, then friendly name. So either you can put directly that name or you can give any customization name. So I'll be providing here go to sheet double inverted comma and then bracket close. Now, if this throws an error, then we'll place black, close the bracket, return now. So we'll be dragging here till 13. Okay. So now it is created. We'll provide certain formatting for this. So as it is a hyperlink, so we'll make it blue underline. So if it looks like a link, once we will click here, go to seat. So now it is targeting A1. Again, we'll click on Jan sales here. Go to seat. Now it is targeting Jan sales and A1. If we click on go to sheet in March, now it is targeting for March sales seat. If we have to visit July sales, 
click here it will be navigating to slice okay so i hope you understand this how we can create list of excel seat name and how we can hyperlink all the seats now if you want to add one more file or maybe in future you will be adding multiple seats in the same work so how this is going to update so just click here seat 10 we can rename it august sales and another one to add so here i'll rename it september sales once we will update this it will come on the sequence of seats so what we will do we will move august after july and then we will move september after august now simply you have to do you can just move it till here and same you can just drag it here now if you click go to seat for august so it will be targeting of same if you click on go to seat for september so it will come to september so i hope you understand this if this video is informative for you so you can like share and subscribe the channel and also hit the bell icon so you will be getting a notification for my upcoming videos so i'll be coming with another excel videos with exciting tips and tricks thank you for watching